very dear to my heart. <laughs> As a doctrine developer, I rely on a steady paycheck of projects to work on. <laughs> by moving annotations, and specifically the Doctrine Common Annotations Library, into PHP Core, that one forces me to have to learn C, which as Derek can tell you, I don't do well as it is. And two, it, gives, it puts all 30 of us out of a job, essentially. This is the only reason we're at this conference, is because Zen Framework uses Doctrine Common, and you want to take that away from us. You want to send us home. For shame on you, Marco. For shame. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, annotations are basically a requirement. I mean, everybody here is trying to write enterprise level software and nobody is really working on websites anymore. So, my idea is that we have to include core components like synchronized objects and transactions and annotations in the core of the language because that basically allows us to introduce more magic, which is what people actually want. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I basically offered the idea that we should introduce annotations and hooks to actually add logic that is triggered as soon as the annotation is read. And that's in core. I'm not really good. I'm not really good. We're both four in very different ways. <laughs> I'm really for it. How, if I may appeal to the audience, how many of you have worked with PHP Unit? Specifically, how many people have done things like at expected exception okay, or at data provider? Like if we had <laughs> annotations in core, I can assure you that after the bickering and mud raking on PHP internals, we would be left with that implementation. We would not have the delicate and may I say wonderfully elegant syntax that Doctrine Common provides. <laughs> Therefore, I think it would be a, a huge I don't even have a word, that's how bad it is. <laughs> it would be shameful to leave it up to the internals developers. So limit annotations, the wonderful loveliness that they could be and should be, to belittle them into this. It w one, we could support UTF-8. <laughs> <laughs> we would not be able to do that in court. For, for <laughs> and since she went, okay. I see. Yeah, first of all, we worked obviously with Unicode annotations. It makes perfect sense to me. Um, anyway, basically, um, you were arguing that basically we were leaving out the elegant way of doing it by setting the expected exception in PHP unit. I argue that the magic of annotation is self documenting. So now we can generate documentation about generated code. That is generated the annotations. <laughs> so I guess that makes perfect sense. Would you support annotations on annotations? Annotations on the annotations. Um, yeah, but. Um, <laughs> I mean, we don't support closures and annotations. <laughs> but just in that, it makes perfectly sense. All right, so time's up. You got 30 seconds. I think my argument speaks for itself. <laughs> what, what are your views on annotations? Well, you want my views on annotations? I think you're bringing up the uh, the at accepted ex exception is a pretty bad thing because it decouples the code from from what you're trying to test. I'm saying it's a poor annotation. Oh, it is a very poor annotation. Very simple. Yes, because it doesn't allow you to do anything. Now, my op opinion about real annotations is that you can already do this. You can write a PHP extension that is exactly the same thing. So there's no way to complicate PHP itself. Uh, applause <laughs> for Derek, who is for of some of us. Actually, don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, uh, thank you for, for attending. Uh, this is a bit of a lighthearted thing that would probably have worked better after a pint of beer. <laughs> um, <laughs>